All right, look, listen, people, hear me out. Today, we're trying something that is quite frankly just, it's stupid. I, I cannot lie to you, ladies and gents. But today, we are gonna be seeing what a team of goalkeepers can do. Honestly, uh, for some reason, I've never tried this out before. I've never tried using a team full of only goalkeepers, nor have I seen how they can do across an entire Premier League season. Well, today, that's gonna be changing. We'll be doing both of those things. We are gonna conduct an entire season with this group of incompetent fools, apart from De Gea, who is lucky enough to play in his actual position. And then we're gonna actually play a game with them as well and we're gonna see just how bad they are in terms of gameplay on like, actually outfield we're gonna try and win a game on like ultimate difficulty I'm determined okay I'm actually determined this is the team so we've got David De Gea in goal we've got Thibaut Courtois at left center back because he's bare tall Buffon because he's old I mean he's gonna have about six sprint speed realistically I couldn't think of where to put Handanovic and Lopez, so they're the fullbacks. All Black is out holding mid. Neuer and Alisson are both good with their feet, so they're going to be in central midfield. De Stegen's on the right because his pace is okay. Loris is on the left because of the same reason. And Edison's up top because I feel like he's got the most powerful of strikes. And then on the bench... We've got Neto, Perrin, Hideki, Bravo, Navas, Kepa, and Bern Leno. I love how this team is still five stars, despite the fact it is actually going to be cataclysmic in-game. Oh yeah, boys, my uh, sack off the Premier League. Let's just do the Checker Trade Trophy. We all know that's the better competition. Oh, there it is. There's the team. There it absolutely is. Right. Personally, I think this is going to be a calamity, but I'm really interested to see whether it takes it as the player ratings that are important or the player ratings based on position. The first game is against Arsenal. I think we'll get a pretty decent grasp of how this experiment is gonna go in the first game, to be fair. Right, our right back is number eight, and I'm sorry, I can't get on board with that at all. Neuer's missed a penalty in the first minute. How, I mean, how, for a start? How did we even get a penalty? 54 minutes gone, another, it, it, what is going on? It's not even bringing players off the bench. We've lost the game 4-0, which is fair. I probably expected that. I'm not surprised. It took Alisson and Neuer off the pitch and it didn't replace them with anyone. We would, we played the, the final half an hour with nine men. This is already broken already. This experiment is, is, is already breaking the game. It's all right, we've got Huddersfield now. Next. They've just come off the back of a 3-0 spanking against Chelsea. It's calm. We've got this one in the bag, boys. We don't have this one in the bag. It's not a great second game. Buffon got injured and then came off for nobody. That's not helpful. Buffon's injured, bless him. Perrin's in to replace him. It's no real surprise Buffon's got injured as an outfielder. He's probably not had to run this much since secondary school back in about 1963. It's another loss. I think at this point, the experiment has got to be, can we actually obtain a point during the course of this season? We have unbelievable scenes, literally, just as I say it. We draw nil-nil at home against Newcastle. Probably the most underwhelming of points you will ever see and we actually ended the game again with nine men this is this needs to stop the game actually just needs to put the players on i don't believe it it's another draw this is this is phenomenal and in this game we brought off three players to stake and have scored our first goal i can't believe this cardiff next surely there's not going to be a better opportunity for a win which is of course exactly why we've drawn nil nil liverpool away next this can only go swimmingly it's a 3-0 loss. Phenomenal. Oh my goodness gracious me. How on earth has this occurred then? We've only gone and got ourselves our first win of the season. It's taken about 11 attempts and we've gone to Manchester United and beaten them. How have we done that then? We've drawn nil-nil against Cardiff. We literally just lost at home against Southampton. We've been slapped silly by everybody else and we've gone to... <laughs> And we played the last 20 minutes with nine players again. Lukaku and Sanchez up top for United in that game. That's got to be the reason, realistically. Unbelievably, we have our first win. Can we actually survive at Premier League's... Okay. 
We're 17 games in and only two players have scored for us all season. A third goal scorer now in the form of Anthony Lopez at left back. Just bear that in mind. Our left back goalkeeper has scored this season before our striker goalkeeper. Edison still hasn't scored yet. We're now halfway through the season and folks, I can't lie, it's not looking ideal. We're literally bottom of the table. 10 points. We're 7 points away from safety. Manuel Neuer's got himself on the score sheet now. It's taken long enough, lad. We've lost 5-0 to Huddersfield on aggregate across the course of this season. Alright, Buffon's finally back into the team to shore up the defence. Alright, solid. <laughs> Good ho, boys. We're at home against Cardiff City. Okay, if we do not get a second victory here, there's actually no hope for anybody. Okay, there's no hope for anybody. So, we are 15 points from safety with a maximum of 15 points available. I'm not, I'm not, I can't lie to you. The odds really aren't in our favour, ladies and gents. I really wish I could give you some positive news and I think it's over. <laughs> they think it's all over. It really is now. I believe we have been relegated. We're down. We, we're gone. We're absolutely done for. We are relegated bottom of the Premier League. <laughs> Was it expected? Maybe. A 3-0 loss away against Burnley. Does it even get worse than that? Right, I mean, I, Okay, so we've reached 37 games. There's one fixture left. I'm hearing, though, going into the final game at the Amex Stadium away against Brighton, in a next goal win sort of scenario, the FA have announced that we will grab survival if we beat Brighton. That, I don't make the rules, all right? This, oh God, this is gonna be awful. We are gonna play a game with a team of goalkeepers, and if we win, we'll, we're allowed to stay up. I'm gonna put it on ultimate difficulty as well, because it's on legendary right now. I'm actually fearful of how much sweat I'm gonna have to produce if I want to win this game. We've got the worst away record. We've got two points out of 18 games. Gianluigi Buffon in an outfielder kit is one of the strangest things I think I've ever seen. The pace really is not there. Look at Handanovic. It's like he's in quicksand down the right-hand side. Oh, Bernardo's on the ball. It's in to... Oh, it was in towards Buffon. Was he going to clear it? Of course he wasn't. This is Jan Black here on the ball. This is so strange. Alisson... Edison Neuer with the little flick into Alisson and he goes with the shot, but it's saved by Matthew Ryan. We've had the first shot of the game, boys. Oh my god, Andone's just run through Neuer. Neuer has been absolutely rinsed. He's not even been rinsed, he's been fully showered. Courtois noggined it away. The tall frame of Thibaut Courtois helping Lopez with a ping of a ball into Loris. Oh, it's into... Okay, Alisson, calm down, son. You're not volleying it from there. We're gonna get it into the box. I see Buffon's quite a tall... Sp why is the actual keeper taking it? No, why did De Gea take the corner? Get up. You're the one goalkeeper that's actually meant to still be in goal. I <laughs> can't be bothered. Why did... First of all, how did I not even notice that was happening? Second of all, why did it happen? Lopez into Neuer. Okay. <laughs> He'd have actually got more power on it if he'd have picked it up and thrown it at the goal. Johan Bash. Oh, great challenge. Oh, but he's won it back. Oh, no. Brighton have scored. The first shot of the game that they've had. De Gea's got a touch on this as well. This is the problem. De Gea is actually in his correct position. He's the one that's meant to be carrying us. And there's been one shot all game. Oh, Thibaut Courtois got rinsed. Proper blocked by Old Black. It's poked through. Courtois lost it and that is 2-0. De Gea's got a touch on it again. I mean, I can't lie, it wasn't great defending from Thibaut Courtois. Maybe in putting him at centre-back and using his aerial ability, I forgot that he's actually about as useless as a flamingo in actual possession on the ball. It all started so well, and then after half an hour, it's gone down the drain. Oh, Black, what is that control, son? It's half time. It's 2-0 to Brighton. It's going to take a superhuman effort to get back into this one. Oh, we've got a decent counter-attacking opportunity here. I mean, it would have been if people had actually carried on running. The ball is central, though, now for Alisson. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. I don't believe it. 
<laughs> no! And Alison has absolutely shafted it. Oh, no. And now Brighton are coming forward and they've made it three. I'm actually gutted. I'm absolutely damn gutted. I can't believe it. Right, none of the outfielders can do it. So De Gea's going to go on a mad one. <laughs> it's not ended well. <laughs> I'm a big fan of those distraction tactics there. Ah, uh, we've been carved open like a slice of ham. Is Kiedo's put it? Courtois actually let like a salmon for once and got it clear. We're going to swing the ball in. I'm expecting limited results out of this one. Oh, De Gea's taking it again. Get it back in goal. It almost worked. Neuer, though, with the header just over the bar. If we'd have scored an aerial chance with Manuel Neuer out of all of the shots we've had, we've got four and a half minutes left. Will we be able to get a goal out of this game? Probably not, so really. I mean, uh, we've had 86 minutes to do so. This is it, I believe. This is our moment. Oh. <laughs> Neuer, it was meant to be our moment. Oh, Brighton have carved us open. Courtois, what a challenge, son. Oh, Real Madrid are deploying him wrong. That's the whole problem. Play him at centre-back, mate. This might be our final chance. Oh, Black, through. Oh, what an interception. No way. Ah, oh, we've been relegated. Bottom of the league. We tried. The FA gave us some hope, but... A team of goalkeepers, I suppose quite unsurprisingly, would get relegated from the Premier League. The one thing really I was trying to see would be, you know, whether the game would take the overalls into account or whether it would in fact take into account the fact they were all out of position. It was the latter in the end, even though they're all highly rated players in their own right. But anyway, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you've enjoyed it, slap a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to the channel. You can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta at the official FNG and links are down below. If you want to try this out yourselves, then feel free to do so and make sure to send it over to me on social media or let me know down in the comment section below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.